30 years ago, I had a small karate school in a sleepy little town back then called San Marcos, California. I was making just enough money to make my car payment and my rent payment and maybe have a beer on Friday nights. Uh, certainly wasn't making enough. And so I did what everybody in the karate business did back then if they weren't making enough money. I opened a second school. Probably the dumbest thing you could possibly do when you have one business that's barely making it is open another, but that's exactly what I did. And the first month was a much better location, Irvine, California, much more affluent town, a lot more people. And the first month I lost about $1,000. The second month, I lost about $1,500. The third month, I lost about $2,000. And there wasn't gonna be a fourth month because I was totally out of capital, and back then I had no way to borrow any money. So I sat down with a yellow piece of paper and I wrote at the top of the paper, why are you failing? I mean, you're a young guy, you're pretty good looking, you're a decent, you know, decent martial artist, decent at sports, uh, you've got a decent personality, you've got an English accent that people seem to like out in California, why are you failing? And immediately I came to the conclusion that I was failing because I didn't know the first thing about marketing. I did not know how to attract students, how to attract clients, how to attract business to my business. And this is uh, you know, quite revolutionary in a way because most people, when their business isn't going well, they blame the competition, they blame the economy, they blame 101 things, they don't blame themselves. Well, I blame myself. I realized I knew very little about marketing. I've always been a great reader. I love to read. I've read a book a week since I was 13. So I went down to the local bookstore and they had eight books on advertising and marketing. And I read all those eight books very, very quickly, highlighting them, underlying them, turning over the pages. And from the back, from the bibliography, I bought 20 more books. So I bought 28 books on marketing and in a period of about 90 days, I went through every one of them. And if you go through the good books on marketing. And the good books on marketing, the ones that have had real success with direct marketing, great copywriters, people that have done direct response marketing, those are the, the places to focus on because those people have to sell product. I took this knowledge and in January of 1988, I made $20,000 in my little 1148 square foot karate school. The previous year, my net income had been $7,800. So I went on that year to make $128,000 in my tiny little karate school. And the only thing that was different between the previous year and the new year was I had learned how to do marketing. I learned how to write headlines. I learned how to create offers. I learned how to put benefits and testimonials together so that when people saw my ads in the local penny saver or the shopper or the local paper, they would respond. And respond they did. I got so excited about marketing, so excited about this power to create money out of thin air that I opened an advertising agency in the back of my karate school. And within seven years, with no outside capital, I built a chain of 400 karate schools. I didn't do it because I was a great black belt. I didn't do it because I had karate movies. I did it because I built a great marketing system to get people into my schools and into the schools of those people who were in my franchise. That's why I'm so passionate about marketing, because of the incredible change it made in my life. And it will make an incredible change in your life if you learn how to make the phone ring, how to make the internet click, and how to generate money by spending your money in the right ways to create the right response to get your business where you want it to go.